What is up guys? Shorty Slayer is back today guys and today guys we are playing Will You Press The Button? Now I know you guys enjoy games like this. I've played some in the past and I just wanted to do it again today because you guys really really seem to enjoy this and I love enjoying it because it gives me situations that I get to think about. I love thinking about situations so we're gonna go ahead and start off today. So Will I Press The Button? You will hear the most beautiful and awesome piece of music, but it will be the only song you will ever hear. Now I love music, but even if I heard the most beautiful and awesome piece of music, I still feel like I would need to hear more. So I'm going to say I will not. That was a good dilemma. You could have the power to rule the world, but it will all end in disaster and death when you start... When you... What? What? So literally, I only say, I rule the world, and then it ends. Why would you ever say yes to that? No. No. It's just, you rule the world, and then it ends. It just ends. <laughs> Ooh. Become a time lord, like from Doctor Who, but you can only regenerate ten times. I'll do it. Freaking time lords are awesome. I would love to have a time you want me box to go back in time and space, go to places. I mean, I hope I hope that would come attached, like I get a TARDIS, because if I don't get a TARDIS, I can care less about regenerating ten times. To be honest, I just wanna wanna be able to have a time machine to go back to different periods of time and places. That'd be really cool. You live without ever experiencing physical pain again. Ooh, but you live without ever experiencing physical pleasure. <laughs> So I will feel nothing. I will be a hollowed man inside. I will be nothing but a shell. I will just be a grumpy, mad man who can't feel anything. No, I won't do that. I won't do that. I, I, I need to feel. I'm not, not, now you're probably going to wonder, why do you need to feel? I feel like you need to feel because that's how you experience life. And with your, your, if your senses is how you experience it. Now, Pain obviously is a bad thing, but it could be something you can overcome and being able to experience that is <laughs> pretty much. And it looks like people agree with me. 68% did not. <laughs> you get to be dictator of the planet for your entire life, but you have to wear socks. Just socks. So... Is this, is this saying... Do I, I, can I not wear shoes? Or is it saying I literally just wear socks and I rock around nude? I'm just like, mm -hmm. I am the emperor with my new clothes made especially by these fancy people. And you get to see me walk around in the nude. Yes, in the buff, you know, yes. I mean, like, if it, I, I could, I could just possibly just make a social separate thing to rock around naked if you want to. I mean, like, why, why not? I'm the dictator, so. <laughs> uh, okay, I'll do it. Okay, fifty-seven percent. So at least, at least people agreed with me. Be the dictator. You just get everyone to wear socks. There you go. Same, same. I'll do the exact same thing. Okay, okay. That was a good dilemma. Good dilemma. You create a time machine that can go back to any point in time. Yeah, having a TARDIS. But you appear as ghostly image and cannot alter any events. You can only observe. Now, I would like to meet the people. I wouldn't want to affect the time streams by doing that. But being able to see who they really were and being able to actually witness history because if you don't know i love history history is probably like my second biggest thing after science to be honest i like science a bit more because i like thinking about the universe in different ways and trying to comprehend it and history though is fascinates me a lot because seeing what we did back in the day compared to what we're doing now it's just like huh huh and it, it just makes me think a lot. I like seeing that. So I, I, I'm going to press the button. I'm going to press it. That was a good dilemma. 84% hit the button. I, I barely looked at that, but okay. You have the ability to attract any girl you want. But for every girl you attract, your lifespan gets shorter by five years. Okay, so... so Okay, so if... if, I, if what's this say? 
I attract a girl towards me. Does that mean I get to date her? Or does that mean, oh, she, she, she's interested, but possibly not depending on how I talk to her. Now, you know I'm a talker, but I tend to be more of an, well, let's just say I trip over my words quite a bit. I trip. Uh, I try my best not to, and that's one thing I've been using YouTube for is to get better at speaking, and I'd like to thank you guys for helping me do that. But I, I, I feel like I would not want that because I, if I, I want to get a girl. If I wanted a girl, a girl, or at least a girlfriend or someone that I, I'm attracted to, I wouldn't want some magical power just... Oh, you're mine now and then like have five years cut off my life because I did that and it might not even work out so no I won't that I will not do that I will not do that 39% hit the button see see signal one percent agreed with me that was, that was a good dilemma why do people refuse it man I mean you get the ability you don't have to use it why would you refuse this <laughs> you can attend the prestigious Harvard University, but you have to lick the bathroom floor of a Walmart. Do I just have to do this once? Hmm. Now the question being, is it one of those super Walmarts where they clean the bathroom, or is it one of those Walmarts where they like, eh, we're not gonna clean it today. We'll clean it in two weeks' time. Or <laughs> do I have to? Another thing is, do I have to constantly lick it? Like, do I have to do it more than once? If I have to do it for more than once, I want to do it. But if it's just once. But the thing is, what would I want to take at Harvard University? I'm not, I've never been a big guy in law. I think some of the laws are like confusing and go over my head. So I wouldn't want to be a lawyer. And I know that's a big thing about Harvard. I know there's other degrees there, I believe. I, I, I wouldn't do it. I wouldn't do it because I'm because my mom is a health in, was a health inspector back in the day, and I remember her talking about bacteria and how to wash your hands and licking the bathroom floor of a Walmart bathroom. Now I don't know if it's the whole floor, if it's just like one little tile, but I'm thinking of all the bacteria and how how bacteria works, and I don't want to experience me getting some sort of disease or anything hurtful for me from licking the floor once to get into a college which might not have a career or job that I would want so I'm gonna say no 43% hit the button okay ah at least at least I'm with the majority of people ah here it is it doesn't specify how long or you have to do it several times or not do anything you could just go touch your tongue to the floor for a second and then go on with your life now it's because it doesn't specify. It's probably why it's so it's so mainly towards not. I, I would think you would be a little more specific, but yes, <laughs> uh, that guy summed it up pretty well. Pretty well. Uh, that was a good dilemma, though. <clears throat> Still fire from the gods and give it to mankind, but be chained to a rock and have an eagle come to eat your innards every day. Now, remembering from my history, this was, I think it was Greek. I apologize if I'm wrong. I'm trying to remember his name. But he was a god that basically saw humanity and was like, Humanity, you need fire. I'm going to give you fire. And you're going to use that fire to better yourself. To better grow your society. Better take care of yourself. So you're not... Because we used to eat raw meat way, way back in... Being able to cook our food was a huge, huge advantage because we would kill bacteria that was in the food as well as bringing out nutrients that weren't uh, very, what's the word, present? Like, it enriched it and made it safer for us to eat as well as we got more from it. So I personally would do it because it doesn't say I die and if I, it, I mean that would be painful of course. But from what I remember of Greek, he never dies. He just continuously goes through it. Wow, this is so complicated in my head right now. But I personally would. It would benefit the whole, and I would pr never die. And I would be, I would be able to. No, now you're, you're like, wow, this guy's going deep in thought here. But 
Yeah, I would I would press the button mainly because the fact is it benefited us so much from that. Only 29%, huh? Wow, I'm guessing I'm guessing the majority here. Okay guys, I'm gonna end the video here, but before I do, I would love to leave this one with you guys. You will have the ability to seduce any woman or man depending on your preferences, but every man or woman depending on your preferences will hate you. So, will you press the button or will you not? I hope you enjoyed this video and remember guys to keep on chewing and I'll keep on slaying. See you guys in the next video. Bye bye. What is up guys? True to Slayer is back today guys and today guys we are gonna be in my Punky Duke to 9 out of 10. As you can notice I've been pumping in slime after slime into him trying to get that skill to a 9 out of 10 and today guys we are gonna be doing that. What is up guys? True to Slayer is back today guys and today guys we are playing Whack Your Boss!